Hello, my friends. I have some opinions for you today, and they may be controversial opinions, but they're my opinions, and I really want to hear your opinions on this topic. You may have noticed that a lot of influencers are starting their own cosmetic lines. We've got Manny MUA has now announced he's starting one. Tati announced that she's starting one. Kristen Dominique has her logo out. Laura Lee released her palette. Uh, Ishani from Total Makeup Junkie 101 released her lipstick line a while ago. Nicole Guerrero released her skincare line. There's just all of these cosmetic companies coming out created by influencers and I know some people are very excited about these and some people are really mad about this so let's just have a talk about it we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and start that right now Where I want to start this video is why I think this is happening. And my theory is, is that all of those people, except for Ishani, I believe, I think all of them all have YouTube as their full-time jobs. Being a YouTuber, I can tell you this, we're all independent contractors, which means that YouTube doesn't really owe us anything. We can basically get fired at any time or kicked off of YouTube or have our videos demonetized. And that's all up to YouTube. It's not a very stable job. Uh, if YouTube died tomorrow, then what would we all do? Uh, we'd have to do something else is what we'd have to do. So my thought is that one big reason why YouTubers are coming out with their own cosmetic lines is because of something called diversifying income, which basically to be the short version of is, is don't put all your eggs in one basket. As a business person where YouTube is considered a job, a business, it's good to have different ways of getting income, especially if your main source of income is so unstable like YouTube is unstable, especially right now with all the demonetizing and everything, it's just very unstable. So that's one big reason why I think all of these creators are coming out with their own lines. I'd love to know what you think. The other reason is that I feel like it's just, it just seems like a fun thing to do, you know? Like, can you imagine like, you know, creating something that is all the things that you would always want in a makeup product. You know, you design the packaging and the texture and the, the finish and the colors and the, the, all of that, you know, creating something from nothing and then putting it out there for people to purchase. I mean, to me, that just sounds like a whole heck of a lot of fun. Uh, so that's another reason why I would think that people would enjoy making their own makeup lines. There are a lot of other theories that I've heard about why creators are making their own makeup lines. And one of them I feel is big is people say, well, they're just trying to make money. And I don't know how you feel about this, but I feel like there's nothing really wrong with wanting to make money. I, I don't know. I feel like we all kind of want to make money. I know I want to make money. I don't know about you. I don't know anybody that doesn't want to make money. You know, money makes things so much easier. Money doesn't buy happiness, but money sure does make things easier. Money allows you to have more freedom to travel and free, freedom to buy things that you want and all of that. So I, I don't see money being a motivator as a bad thing. I've also heard creators be accused of trying to manipulate their subscribers into spending their hard earned money. I I can see this point of view and and where I can see this point of view is if a creator is making something and marketing it as one thing but then selling it as something else um, you know marketing it as a good quality product but then everybody gets it and it's terrible um, and my personal experience with the products that I've tried that are creator created not not collabs I'm talking about collabs collabs are a whole nother thing but um, you know created by creators such as you know the Laura Lee eyeshadow palette the Shawnee lipsticks the Nicole skincare line. I've got my review coming out uh, next, oh, Friday. Friday it should be coming out. I already filmed it. Um, I feel like they're all like good quality products. Are they going to be for everybody? No. I mean, I don't think any product is going to be for everybody. I, the, one of the big uh, things that I've heard people say, you know, you could be the juiciest peach ever and there's always going to be people who don't like peaches, you know? Not, there's going to be no product that's going to be for everybody. So with these particular influencers, I don't see it as a taking advantage of their subscribers. I feel like they're capitalizing on their subscribers, but I don't know if that's necessarily taking advantage. I see that being a difference. I don't know. What do you think? I've heard this especially talked about when people have younger audiences that they're, you know, um, taking advantage of their younger subscribers. But I feel like even with kids, um, teenagers and kids, I feel like when you've got money to spend, you have to make, you know, somehow you have to make a choice about what you're going to buy and then take responsibility for that choice. I mean, I know that when I buy things, a lot of times I'll look up reviews on the product, um, you know, no matter what it is, whether it's, uh, you know, an electronic that I'm looking 
thing to buy or even a new restaurant that I want to try out. I'll look up reviews. It's one of those things, part of being a responsible consumer is looking into what you're buying. So again, I don't see that influencers are taking advantage of their subscribers because I feel like, you know, we need to take responsibility in what we purchase. You know what I mean? I don't know, that's just how I feel about it. Another huge critique that I've heard is, what gives them the right to create a makeup line or a skincare line or whatever it is when they have no experience in this? I mean, they're just creating makeup videos on YouTube, you know? They don't, they're not professionally trained. They, they've never gone to college for this stuff. I know there are a lot of people that feel that way, totally feel that way, and I'd love to know if you feel that way down in the comments, because um, again, I really want this to be a discussion. From my perspective and what I've seen, I don't think that any of these people are going into the lab and formulating this stuff. They have professional chemists that are creating the product so I feel like when when people go with that argument that who are they to create the line I'm wondering are they thinking that the people are going into the lab and creating like that you know Laura's going in and she's mixing eyeshadows and Nicole's going in and she's you know putting chemicals together for a moisturizer like if they were doing that then I can kind of see that perspective but they are hiring professionals to do these things and really their main job from what I've seen is to test the product and say whether it's good or not whether they are enjoying it or not, um, whether it's the texture that they want, the scent that they want, things like that. I don't think that it's the same as making your own cosmetic line, if you know what I mean. Uh, there's other people that are doing all the work and then they're just testing it. You know, yes, it, it comes from their own ideas of what's good, but they're not actually formulating anything, uh, at least from my knowledge, I don't think that they are. So I don't really get the whole, like, who gives you the right to create something when you're not a professional, if that makes sense. For example, my husband, he created a, he started his own business when he was 24 years old. He um, didn't have a business degree, didn't even have a college degree, and decided to open up a tattoo studio. He just figured it out and did it, and now he has one of the most successful tattoo studios in the state. So I kind of see the influencers kind of being like that, where they've got an idea of something that they want to exist, and they're making it exist. And I personally think that's pretty cool. I don't know, that's, that's just my perspective. I would love to know what your thoughts are on that, because... I don't know, I feel like they do have a right to do it. You know, like the, the, it's just a matter of wanting something to exist and then making it exist. And I don't feel like for me personally that I have the right to tell them that they don't have a right to create something that they want to create. You know what I mean? Personally, I feel like it takes a lot of guts to create your own cosmetic line because number one, it's a lot of financial investment. When you're doing a collab with a company, the company typically puts up all of the money up front. But when you're creating your own line, it's all you. You're investing in the lab, creating the formula because just creating the formula is extremely expensive. Then you're investing in the actual makeup or skincare that's going into the packaging that you're also paying for, and you have to order X amount ahead of time, so you're investing thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars ahead of time just hoping that this stuff will sell. If you're doing a collab, you have no worries. You have no... You know, you just have to sit back and relax and wait after you've finished, you know, collaborating with the brand. So I feel like putting a makeup line out there is a lot of risk. And I think that it's pretty cool that people are willing to take that risk. So at this point, I want to hand it over to you. What do you think? Do you feel like these influencers are getting what they deserve as far as the blowback from creating their own cosmetic lines? Or do you feel like it's overdone and that they shouldn't be getting as much as they are? I would love to know what you're thinking. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely make sure you hit the subscribe button down below for more truth videos in the future. And mad love to you, and I will see you in a video soon.